In Pennsylvania, that is a Mercer County Sheriff's deputy. He is putting on his gloves, and now he is disabling the surveillance camera. Moments earlier, the deputy stepped up to the front door. According to the woman whose security camera recorded this, the deputy was looking for somebody who had not paid a $200 fine. That person did not own or live at this property, but the deputies had been told the person they were looking for might be here. He tries to disable the front porch camera, but cannot reach it. The deputy then wanders around the porch and looks inside a window. This sheriff's deputy does not have a warrant. Still concerned by the front porch camera, the deputy notices a child's Superman toy box and tries to use that to block the camera lens. Eventually, the deputy goes around to the back of the house. Mm. The homeowner was inside the house during all of this, but says she didn't hear the knocking. She says that later she looked through the surveillance footage and saw the sight of the deputy disabling one camera and trying to cover up another. Eventually, the woman spoke to police and talked about why they were there, and her surveillance equipment was not damaged. Still, she posted the surveillance footage to TikTok and asked the public if the sheriff's deputy's actions were legal. This has ignited a huge online debate. A lot of police and former law enforcement folks say that disabling a camera is standard operating procedure when trying to apprehend or arrest somebody inside a house. The argument is that if somebody inside cannot see how many police are there and where they are located when they're coming in, well, that might protect the officers. However, legal experts point out that police have no right to touch or disable cameras without a warrant. And even if police have an arrest warrant, which the officers in this case did not, police would still need a warrant to spell out that the officers can seize or disable surveillance equipment. A warrant requires going to a judge and explaining the issues of officer safety, and while doing that, the officers could also apply for what is known as a no-knock entry. In other words, they explain to a judge that a residence is so dangerous that police need a judicial exemption from the standard requirement of knocking and announcing the police presence. But again, in this case, there was no warrant of any kind. There was nothing allowing a no-knock entry and nothing allowing officers to disable the surveillance cameras. It makes you wonder what the deputies anticipated they might do and whether their actions would be something they would need to hide. As you may have noticed, the sheriff's deputies were not wearing body cameras. The Mercer County, Pennsylvania Sheriff's Department is not saying much about any of this. A lot of folks are urging the woman who recorded this, though, to launch a lawsuit or at least file a complaint. Clearly, something needs to be done. What the sheriff's deputies did here was creepy, and more importantly, it was against the law. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.